Greetings, my friends. This is Gilles Mancillon. I hope you're having a good day. For today is the first day of the week, Sunday, the, the day of the sun. And uh, so, so we, we have given a little opportunity to balance out energy between, before the great solar flash that is coming. It's going to be a recalibration of all reality that is coming. And right now we, we, we're receiving all kinds of solar flash that are, that are elevating us, that are shaking us up, that are making us, uh, that, that are creating all kinds of and, and change of energy within ourselves. And that is about calibration. The, the, the Elohim Collective has said that we turn, a, we, we created the major shift it's done which will which announced the, the the freedom uh the freedom for all of humanity the, the sense of freedom will be manifested for all humanity within the next few years because if the solar flash for for now it's like there is enough people that have started their their, their, their awakening process to assure to guarantee that within a few years when the great solar flash come for if it would if it would come now if you would have come in 2012 at the end of the Maya calendar, a handful of people would have survived and everybody else would have died. If it would happen now, the, the great majority, maybe 80% or 70% of humanity or 80% would not survive the shift. There would be a huge catastrophe, natural catastrophes. But given the time that people are more enlightened, that we turn more within, the, 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 by, by the time it comes, the great majority of humanity will be ready and able to do this shift into this higher dimension. And those who leave will be sent, led to, to a, a plane, a place, a planet that will be perfectly for them as well. Huh? But it will definitely put an end to this, uh, this agenda 2030 of the globalist. And do not worry about that. It's going to happen before that and everything's going to, everything's going to be shifting. So, but it's all about inner life. It, because uh, the third dimension is about the outer life. The fourth dimension is realizing there is more than just the, the world of senses. And, and the fifth dimension is about, or below, above, it's about the inner life. So eventually we're going to start creating and, and everything that's going to be happening is because of our collective effort. So do not diminish the value of your being, your presence on this planet, your, your, your choice to incarnate on this planet. And it is going to be the effort of our collective inner work this, uh, because we're going to be connecting. So, uh, There's going to be the collective inner life of humanity that will be that, that will be affecting the most the changes, not just uh, for there are some people that want to see the change outside, but they refuse to change. They want to see the, the transformation of the outer world, but they're. They're not willing, they, 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 they haven't really discovered what they have inside. So we have to be patient and uh, even patient with yourself. If you do not see, if you haven't had these inner you know, experiences of opening your third eye or, or feeling the, the cosmos within your heart or, or, or all those things, I assure you it is there. And so, so it is, uh, and, and this inner life, so in the, on the inner life, we're all interconnected and the heart of hearts. You can imagine a great heart, if you close your eyes and you imagine this, uh, this huge space and there's this huge heart, this emerald heart in the center. And, and within that, there is, there is countless little hearts around them and it is all our hearts and the heart of the creator. So we all exist within the heart of hearts. It's a, it's a visualization, a, a, a dimensional reality. So, so it is all. It's all going to be happening because of our collective efforts, and so do not uh, and be patient with yourself. It is time that is given for preparation, and uh, for the, the we have to operate the the the, the change from within. Uh, it's very important. One of the big things that needs to be aware, humanity needs to become aware. I'm just offering perspective. I'm just offering my sharing ideas, information uh, day by day, and, and is that Gaia, the Mother Earth? This planet is not just a thing that, that needs to be exploited or that is the, the mother earth is, is willing to give us what we need, all that we need, but there is to be an exchange of respect and understanding, a balance of energy so that, uh, so, so that there is, um, so, so this is the, the consciousness of the planet needs to, needs to be discovered yet by the mainstream of humanity, just as the soul. A physical sun is the father of all reality within the solar system. It is the guide. It is. It is. Um, there is those those uh, those 
logos, those beings that you can call on, Helios and Vesta, the father mother of the of the solar system, and the soul, the, the sun is the, the guardian of the collective soul. The soul is just as bright as that, and, and uh, there are countless beings that live in the in the sun, and and the sun is connected to millions of other suns, other stars, and within that, at the center, there is a central sun that uh, called Alcyon here in our local universe, the center of the Pleiades, and the sun is, is sending ever increasing level of frequency of love light frequency and so uh, so so it is important to continue to communicate you can you can telepathically communicate with mother earth with father the father son of course there is a it's a ever increasing this is like dissension of god of the god self for we for for the sun, in, in many sense, on the physical plane, it is God. Eh? It gives light and life to, and power. It gives to everybody without asking anything. And without the sun, we wouldn't be there. But above that, there is the creator sun, the father of our universe. Above that, there is the ancient of days, the rulers of the super universe, the, the master spirit from paradise, the supreme being that is the other soul of the grand universe. Then beyond that, there is the, the infinite spirit and the eternal sun and the universal father. For God has created all kinds of love all to it, so that we can access, we can move in, in the understanding of divinity and unity. So we are connected to all that. Huh? We are connected to, 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 to to a reality that is far richer and, and this temporal life is just a time what it is, it's a temporal life, it's an experience, uh, we are all eternal divine being of light that, that came to, to, to experience that. So, so it is important to, to always take love and light with you wherever you go. And for me, I'm really, what I need to, I'm doing is to be seated in my I am presence in a permanent way. First, you have to realize that you have this divine spirit. Then you have to find a way to commune, to communicate. And then eventually you have to, to learn to be within that and to incarnate that energy. And we all led to that. And for that, we have to learn the... The, the the three first ray of uh, the first the, the the blue ray the spirit of truth the the, the, the ray of the of the of the father the blue ray of power we need to learn the the pink ray of the mother the, the holy spirit and together they ignite the yellow flame of wisdom and so those flames need to be always balanced one day you can work with the blue flame then you can choose to today is sunday so it's the blue light tomorrow we'll, you can go with the pink light to, to, to incarnate this pink light of love and receptivity and then then the next day you go in the yellow light and then you can move into emerald light and the day after that so, because there is more and more portals that are opening and celestial beings are coming closer. In the past, a lot of portals couldn't be opened because there is dark energy, dark entities on the planet that could uh, hijack that and hijack the souls of all those who were trying to get to the portal. That happened in the past. But, but everything is in line. Huh? For the soul, you can imagine the soul as a great sphere of, of cosmic divine energy. But you, but it's all. Uh, there is only one universal soul. But within that, it's so vast. You can imagine that uh, all the cats, for instance, have their soul, their soul group, and all the cats that live or ever lived go and return to that eternal sphere of, uh, of cats or dogs, for that matter, and. and um, for, for dogs, cats and dogs do not have a, a, a continuation of personality. The, the soul continues to evolve or the, from, from second to third dimension eventually. But, but the, the, the continuation of their personality as this cat or this dog is only because there is a bond, emotional bond and connection to a human beings. So that gives them... Um, and so, so, so it's like the, the, the minerals have their soul, uh, vegetals have their soul groups, uh, uh, animals. When you look at all the animals, for instance, on the earth, not all animals are on the earth, but there's a great deal of diversity within the animal kingdom on the earth, then it represents an aspect of divinity. In terms of human, the human soul is far more, uh, there is far more subdivisions, for we are, um, there is far more subdivisions and families and groups and so on. So, so it's like the more you feel a connection to someone, the more soul connection you have. Huh? So, uh, 
So, so when you when we sit in I am presence, we, we, we have this light that crowns us eh, and we are within our power. It is something that, that unfolds little by little. It's called the light body. There was five light bodies that were designed for humanity. Everybody, our soul and spirit already know what's perfect for us. We don't need to master all five light bodies. We just need one. It is a vehicle. The most famous one is called the Merkaba. It means chariot in Hebrew. And the Merkaba grows in frequency into Merkana, which grows into frequency into Merkara, which is the, the divine aspect of that. But it is, it is, it is like, oct, it, it takes the form of a octo, uh, tetraedre, octoedre, two pyramids and, and, uh, and close within each other. And then when it activates, it, it, it gives the opportunity to move into different dimension and frequency. And it can also be collective. The Merkaba is the most famous one, but there are different light body. I know my, I know my light body was shown to me. Well, I've also seen my Merkaba. Well, you can master one, you can utilize more than one light body. It's just a matter of frequency. And um, all of that will be revealed in due time. It's really step by step that spirit is, is revealing that because we all unique and we all have to find our own unique way and that's what uh, that's how we were created and so uh, and and filter everything through your higher self through your heart and uh, very important to to discern what is good and what is not did I pull some cards there I'm not sure but if I did I'll do it again I'm sorry my head is still a little bit um, for the, the the observer of the day is the respect of the rule to understand the, the how things work both on the earth and in terms of the cosmic divine law to respect the the, the protocols of things and uh, the highest wisdom is the thinker is to put to, to have plans to prepare to make, put your plans in motion and to to have plans for for the next step already to already have a work with what you have and then continue to cultivate ask your spirit guides or ask your your soul for information what needs to be understood is may the truth be to be the revealer of truth and the truth it is a great privilege to be a revealer of truth there is many aspects to the to the service of uh, uh, mission service here on the planet but to reveal a certain level of truth you reveal your truth your higher truth to understand that uh, the truth will be uh, and uh, the, all there is so much that needs to be revealed what is uh, what needs to be done is the deep knowledge to continue to cultivate to receive this deep knowledge and uh, this memory this uh, this connection and the outcome will be the young the power that is going to be time of action and the power of the divine will and integrity of the creator this blue ray you can call on the archangel michael he's a great our brother mike michael is a really a good friend to all humanity and all dimension is assisting everyone in their process for for it's going to be very uh, uh, there is this the globalist agenda of the, the this this complete madness that they're planning for 2030 but it will be interrupted they're not gonna they're gonna fail and, and then there is this renaissance this uh, spirit was talking to me about aquaferia it's a model of society that's magic and marvelous where everybody lives in joy and and so that's going to be quite um, quite um, quite marvelous uh, but we have to choose it and it is the result the product of our collective intention that will create because it, it, it's all within our power of creation up there they can say well it is going to be happening but they don't know how it's going to be happening and they don't know what's going to be happening because it all depends on us on a collective level although there is a there is already a predestination to, to the process. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I thank you for liking, sharing, commenting, and subscribing, and for your donations. And if you're on a private session, you can send me an email. Um, so the, the change has to be operated from within uh, and to continue to, to invoke, to call on. You, you have all, there is all kinds of cosmic assistance and, and the cosmos will, will do what it will do. It, it was there before we came and it will be there after we are gone from the earth. Uh, the, the, those, uh, those higher forces will return home eventually. Oh, there is a cat that's like, okay, she's moving out, she's finishing her nap. And uh, for also be sensitive on the soul level that you have a monad, you have a group of spirit that is your soul family, the, that's very pure and very uh, very connected. That try to guide your life to certain experiences. So your soul up there works with those other groups huh, on the higher planes, and. Um, 
and, and follow whatever you you feel. There is there is no pressure or anything. Just uh, we were given a, a certain number of time, a few years, to 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 be ready. Uh, and for for I know for me, if the solar flash would come, I, I'm pretty confident that I would survive the shift. Uh, but but uh, we have to, we have to have the compassion to allow this time for many people that are that are good heart, but they haven't prepared themselves as yet, and uh, the earth wants to qualify them. Um, and those who will leave will leave. We will once we ascend, we will know that they'll be fine as well. Huh? So there's really nothing to worry about. For the the observer of the day is action, and it is the young. We're going to be called into action. It's going to be very obvious, and what we will know what to do. The highest wisdom is to listen, to be able to to hear what uh, the prompting of life, the prompting, the, to listen to the core of the heart, what the heart is saying, the, the guidance, the intuition, the the spirit. It's not a loud voice, and it's just a whisper. Sometimes it's just the words that appear. You sense that within a conversation, there is one word that needs to be extracted that has special meaning, that gives you an information. What needs to be um, understood is acceptation. Acceptation of the, the good, the bad, and the... the, and the the good, the bad, and, and and everything else. And we have to accept it since it is part of our consciousness and reality. We've been exposed to that. We have to accept it for a time. It's not, but, but we, uh, rather than fighting against it or rejecting it or thinking that it should not happen, it should not exist. If it exists, there is a reason for it. But, but after that, once we accept it, we balance it out. There is yin and yang, dark and light. We, 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 we're not part of, we're just contemplative of that. Then, then we make the choice to to incorporate within our consciousness only the love and light and and then we can still we operate from a higher plane just an advice a recommendation of course what we need to do is to be enthusiastic because there is so much goodness and so much gift and so much uh, blessings that, uh, that the creator is preparing for us so a great deal of freedom a great deal of abundance a great deal of love a great deal of uh, social uh, interaction a great deal of creativity uh, all kinds of things will unfold now, as we as we allow ourselves to think about it if we if we are trapped within the the, the, the labyrinth of the of the dark shadow matrix then then we first we have to accept it and and leave ask to be liberated from that and the outcome will be liberation so it's like um, there is nothing more to to add to that huh? it's really uh, will be liberated and we deserve to be liberated because we we've done so much work we're going to be able to hear we're going to be able to share we're going to be able to Consolate. We're going to be able to uh, to provide. We're going to be able to do all kinds of things. I, I do sense it coming. Well, I hope this message was interesting for you. I'm going to finish with the song that went through my mind this morning. It's a mysterious song. It, in some sense, you feel like it talks about the matrix. It talks about uh, um, the acceptation of the matrix. And in some other sense, it talks about the, the power of immortality that thought was talking about in the tab Emerald Tablets. It's called The Man Who Sold the World. It goes like this. We passed upon the stairs, we spoke of what and when, although I wasn't there. He said I was his friend, which came as a surprise. I spoke into his eyes, I thought you died alone, a long, long time ago. Who knows, not me, we never lost control. Your face to face with the man who sold the world. Dun, 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 dun. I laughed and shook his hand and made my way back home. I searched for foam and land. For years and years I roamed. I gazed a gazeless there. We walked a million years. I must have died alone a long, long time ago. Who knows, not me, I never lost control. Your face to face with the man who sold the world.
Great song from the, from the most cosmic of all rock and rollers, David Bowie. It was, uh, it was very, uh, very, very out there, so to speak. I'm going to pull a card. Well, we have the chariot. First, I'm going to read the chariot because it's a beautiful card. It says, it's, it's, it's the, the Lord, the Archangel Metatron. Determination and self-control. Evolution of career. Public recognition of a success. So that's really what is coming. And uh, for the day, that is really more for like what is coming. For, for today, is about the, is the 10 of Gabriel. Gabriel is the archangel of ascension, uh, the messenger of God. For the all, all archangels are messengers of God. Ask the, he say, she said, ask the angels to put the right people capable to help you on your way. So it is important to ask the, the to ask the archangels or the creator to 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 bring to bring us the right people that can assist us that can make our life better and, uh, and the, the second the second advice she gives is it says you working too much so just relax you are always doing too much to please others so it is very important to to be understanding and to 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 take care of, of, of other people's need, if you can, but do not do it in, in if it's gonna make you if you make you resentment against them or that if it's gonna deplete you and huh? just uh, you have to think of yourself for it is within your power that you will be able to help them most rather than always having to validate and please everybody else. So I'll pull a final card. This is the ah, it's the same card as in the French. Says to, to, to conclude is the the Knight of Gabriel. Self-assurance, enthusiasm, courageous and charismatic. So just be that and be, be sure of yourself, be enthusiastic, be courageous and charismatic. It is time to act. You, you find passion for a cause. So whatever makes you passionate, you just go for it. It's really where, the, where, it, where it lies. You know, you know instinctively what to do. So do not second guess yourself. Trust your instinct, trust your intuition. And, uh, and, and we'll move together towards the light as our inner self connect more and more. I thank you for all the telepathic message I receive as well from, from all of you and from, from, from different dimensions. So I try to respond to them as well. I hope you, you're receiving the, the, the return as well. Thank you very much. I wish you a wonderful day and I'll talk to you later. Have a night.